The warm weather and the sunshine didn't necessarily scream it's time for hockey in the capital of Bavaria on Sunday when EHC Red Bull Munich hosted the DEG Metro Stars in the Eishalle am Oberwiesenfeld. Scoring a goal by chance, Dusseldorf took an early lead, but it was the EHC who dominated the game. The Metro Stars' defense stood firm, holding off several attacks by the hosts. In the final period, the game became very heated, with a 2-2 score the fans saw more players fighting each other than fighting for the puck. The EG were more aggressive and got several penalties, however EHC couldn't convert the power plays and the game went into overtime. Being lucky, once again Düsseldorf scored the final result, winning 3-2. Still EHC coach Pat Cotina was not entirely unhappy about his team's effort. Well, I thought we were um, nervous in the first period, and that's a good thing because that means we wanted to do well and we cared. Um, I thought we played really well in the second period. We, we were uh, by far the better team. We dominated. We only scored two goals. I think if we would have scored a third goal, it would have been a different game. And, um, you know, I think, there, I, think, I think three goals, they scored two were gifts. So, um, you know, if there's one thing that needs work, it's... it's uh, and we need to be a little more patient on our power play. But other than that, I thought it was a pretty solid effort from our team. Other than that, Cortina commended the new team captains Felix Petermann and Martin Buchwieser. I thought they both had strong games. You know, I think this is the first experience for both as captains, and that's why we decided we were going to share the responsibility. They're both young men. They both have to take on more responsibility. Uh, they're going to need help with this role, and they're getting help from some of the older players. How about so bad, so good. Munich's new arrivals also seem to have integrated well into the team. Most definitely, uh, you know, Blake Sloan and, and Lubor de Belka and Obe and Kavanaugh and Hinterstocker and Ekbaum and every, everybody's done really, really well. I think it's, a, it's, it's been a fun um, six weeks for me and, and I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. So does newly signed Blake Sloan, who was excited by his first appearance in Munich. Every time you play in a new city and a new team, you want to put your best foot forward and, and um, uh, just do the things that uh, they brought you here to do. And uh, I think as a whole, I think our team played, uh, played well tonight. And, um, you know, we, uh, uh, we've just got to tighten up a little bit uh, defensively and, and uh, um, just do a little bit more of the simple things. We've definitely got to tighten up our power play and get, uh, uh, get more shots, get more chances, um, and have a bit more of a net presence, I think, is our biggest thing right now. So, um, yeah, with, uh, that comes with time, and uh, we're going to work hard on that this week. Power play, defense, EHC has a couple of things to work on, especially because they have been the stronger team. Captain Felix Petermann sums the game up. Well, <laughs> to, to be honest, it's uh, really frustrating just getting one point out of that game because I think, especially in the second period, we, we really played a well, a pretty pretty good game and yeah, had lots of chances. Had uh, yeah, lots of chances to to, to score and, and get the thing home and, and, and close the deal. But yeah, we had the chances to to score or to to close the game in a power play, what we didn't. And I think that was uh, yeah the turning point. Um, they got the momentum back after our power plays, scored a really lucky goal I think, and then uh, yeah we couldn't we couldn't uh, finish the game with a three point win, and that's the reason why it's so frustrating. Because I think today the the better team did not get the win, and that's one of the most frustrating things in sports. And uh, we gotta keep our heads up now and uh, prepare for the derby next Friday. Yeah, and then get back to work on Tuesday. Being an experienced player, Peterman sees the problems in the following. Yeah, it all comes down to details in, in professional sports. I think today we've seen if we if we find a way to to get the, the shots tonight, especially in power play, then we, we keep the momentum which we definitely had in the second period. It's maybe just a little mental thing that we gotta want it more in those situations and out, outwork the opponent. And if we manage to do that, then for sure in the, in the future we will be uh, more successful. And uh, I think, as I said, we shouldn't be the negative right now. Just work on the mistakes we did, what we actually did today. And then uh, also look at the positive things and then we, uh, we can look forward to, to more wins coming in. Next chance for the EHC to show improvement is the upcoming derby against the Augsburg Panthers face-off on Friday at the Eishalle am Oberwiesenfeld. From the Olympia Ice Stadium in Munich, Lisa Heckel, Sport Eagle.